it is three dark clowns. Clowns? Crowns? Definitely says crowns. I can read y'all. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. I'm so, so, so excited to share this video with you all because as you can tell by the title, today I have a new series to my channel. Recently, I've been super obsessed with watching Say Yes to the Dress, which is a TV show that follows upcoming brides looking for wedding dresses that they wanna wear. And so they're picking it out, they're visiting consultants, and they're trying to find the perfect dress for their day. I love this layout, I love the storyline, that goes with the TV show. I love following the brides and seeing what they want to pick, what dresses they like, what dresses they don't like. And so I wanted to create something similar but booktube related. And so instead of Say Yes to the Dress, new series that I want to introduce to any endings is Say Yes to That Book. For each month, I ask all of you to suggest a book that fits a certain characteristics that I list out. Y'all will tell me the books that come up into your mind when you hear these set of characteristics. And every month, I'm going to pick five of the top recommended books. And then I'm gonna read them and at the end of the month I'm gonna do a follow-up video telling me my likes my dislikes and how well they fit into the characteristics that I was looking for so you get to see if I say yes to the book I don't know if someone has already kind of done something similar but I was super excited to put two and two together because like I said I love this TV show and I want y'all to be super excited like I am when I watch the TV show I have it in book form and I'm super excited because I want to know what book I'm gonna really like and what book I'm not gonna really like out of the characteristics that I ask for another reason why I'm super excited to share this series is because I've been trying to think of more ways to include all of you all my subscribers my followers all the people that I love so dearly into my videos and into my channel because I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be making my videos if it weren't for you all and all of your support. I'm super excited to go on Twitter and Instagram, which will also be linked in the description bar below, and gave you all my first prompt without really telling you what it was for, and you all giving me such amazing recommendations and books to read. So I'm super excited to show you the first five books that I have in the first episode of Say Yes to the Book. And if you want to see what books the subscribers and the followers and the family recommended to me in this first round, keep on watching and let's talk because we will reach many any endings. Okay, y'all, I'm super, super, super excited to show you this list because one, I told y'all on Twitter and on Instagram what books I should read and y'all gave me so many. I'm just gonna pop it up here for you all to see because the responses were overwhelming, but I hope I got all of them. I tabbed all of them and I have added up all the most recommended books that I was given this round. So if you are interested in giving me the recommendations and participating in the next round, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is in the description so you can see the prompt that I have for next month and give me some suggestions and be featured in the video. All right, y'all, here's the top five books that I got from the first prompt, which was give me a book that had the characteristics of being royal, gold, and dark. Y'all know that I love books that have royalty. Y'all know that I love gold foiling. Y'all know that I love a great dark storyline. So what better way to start off this new series than to list off characteristics of all of my favorites? And can I just say, this list of five books are amazing and everything that I wanted and wished for. When I put out this prompt, I didn't know what I was gonna expect. I didn't know what answers y'all were gonna give me. But can I just say, I love y'all so much because this top five books that I have right now are books that I definitely wanted to read for so long now. And of course, the most suggested book from this prompt was King of Scars by Leo Bardugo. I had just hauled this book in my latest video which will be linked up here and in the description box. And y'all know I was definitely drawn to the gold foiling and the forest green because I love a good forest green. And it is just the cherry on top because King of Scars is also following a royal prince who is a part of the Grishaverse by Leo Bardugo. In King of Scars, we follow Nikolai, which is the young prince, is ruling after a civil war has happened. Now, Nikolai, being a king, being young, has all the great intentions in the world. Of course, things aren't that simple because internally, he's dealing with a curse that's making him a little bit evil. Because, you know, everyone needs a little dash of evil in their hearts. And so, as Nikolai tries to save his people, be the best king for them, do everything in his power to protect those he cares about also battling a long legacy that has it out for him obviously doesn't want to see him succeed 
it checks all the characteristics that I was looking for. But will I say yes to the book? I really hope I do, and I really hope I say yes to it. But y'all are definitely gonna have to wait a month to find out, because I got four more other books to read, okay? Which leads me to the second most suggested book from this prompt, and that is Furyborn. Furyborn is part of the Imperium trilogy, followed by Kingsbane and Lightbringer. It definitely has gold on it, so it checks that box. And this storyline is definitely royal. Furyborn follows two young women who are prophesied to be the queen. A one is the queen of light, and the other is the queen of blood. To prove to everyone that they are the suspected queen, they go through seven elemental magic trials, and within these trials, they definitely need to survive. And if they fail, they will be executed. No, if the trials don't kill them first. So, this book is also very dark. I've been wanting to read this book for the longest time, and I'm so excited that y'all have suggested this to me to read for this series. I honestly don't know why I haven't picked it up yet, because this is everything that I look for in a book. There's royalty, there's magic, there's death, everything that I love. So will I say yes to the book? I don't know. Because this next book is also a highly anticipated read. And I've actually mentioned this in my top 10 book series that I want to start. If you haven't watched that, it'll be up here and in the description box so you can watch it after. And this is a recent release known as These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Y'all, when I say the competition to say yes to this book is real on this first prompt, I definitely mean it because I don't know how I'm supposed to tier rank these books at all. Violet Delights is a Romeo and Juliet retelling that takes place in Shanghai. There's a blood feud going on between two rival gangs, one led by 18 year old Juliet and the other gang ran by Roma, which was Juliet's first love. There's violence, there's mayhem, there's death, and if you don't know the story of Romeo and Juliet, it's definitely dark. It's definitely gold. And although they're not really royal in the normal aspect, they're still the leader of two different entities. So I'll give it a pass in that it checks the box in the royal aspect. The next most requested book that I was suggested under this prompt is actually a book that comes out January 26th. And that book is Wings of Ebony by JL. Everyone who's received an arc says they love it. So I was super excited that this was highly suggested under this prompt because I definitely was going to read it anyways. This book follows a girl named Rue who's a black teenager from Houston. Rue finds out that she's actually half human, half God, which wow, I already love. Because of her godly ancestry, she definitely wields the power to have magic. However, in this world, magic is only possible because of human suffering. Because she has this godly ancestry now, she is taken out of Houston and into this magical world altogether. However, on her mom's death anniversary, she leaves Gizon and goes back to Houston. But when she returns to Houston, she sees that so many black kids are suffering, committing acts of violence, crimes. She realizes that she only has this power because it's wielded from their suffering as well. So Rue has to decide if she wants to use her powers for good despite the consequences, or if she'll let the gods continue to play the community and neighborhood she loves. It's got gold, it's definitely royal-esque as there's a hierarchy, there's literally gods at play, and the book is definitely dark, y'all. Definitely one of the most anticipated reads of 2021, and definitely more excited that this is one of the first books on the first episode of the Say Yes to the Book series. Which leads me to the fifth and last book that was mostly requested under this prompt. And this book is no stranger to this channel, Three Dark Crowns by Kendra Blake. Now I know this book is royal, I know it's dark, and it definitely has gold on it. But y'all definitely delivered in the characteristics that I was looking for. Because Three Dark Crowns follows triplets who are all heirs to this kingdom who also have some magical powers. We have a queen who can control fire, a queen who can control poison, and a queen who can control nature. However, when they reach a certain age, only one queen gets to be crowned and in order to figure out who that queen is they all need to fight to the death and yes i said it right the sisters that need to kill one another in order to be crowned the queen if that isn't dark i don't know what is because when i heard that i was like oh yeah y'all are not playing games okay but those were the five most suggested books out of this first prompt which include the royals the gold and the darkness that I asked for. So this time next month, you will get to see how I tier rank all of these top five books and which one of these books I ultimately say yes to. Honestly, thinking about it, I'm super terrified because these are all amazing books and I have no idea how I'm supposed to rank these. And I'm even more confused on how I'm supposed to say yes to one. A yes to the book, meaning it was my favorite book out of the top fives that I just shared with y'all. I'm super nervous, so I also wanna hear your thoughts. 
Which book do you think I'm gonna say yes to this time next month? Leave that in the comment section below because I'm super interested to see what you all think I'm gonna choose. Because really y'all, I do not know. But it has to be done because that's what this series is all about. And that's the little drama that we need, okay? We need a little book drama to see which one I'm gonna pick out of the five. Thank you again to everyone who suggested a book for me under this first prompt. Y'all didn't know what I was doing, what video I was planning, but y'all still gave me a book. And I'm super excited and super grateful because this list is beyond amazing and beyond what I asked for because it is actually the hardest list I'm ever gonna have to choose from. And if y'all went this hard for the first prompt, I can't even think about what next month's prompt is gonna look like. But all right, y'all, those are the first five suggested books out of my newly created and newly initiated Say Yes to That Book video series. I hope y'all are excited as much as I am. I think this series is gonna be so much fun because I get to interact with you all. Y'all get to be featured on my channel. And we get to compare loads and loads and loads of amazing fun books y'all are too amazing to me and i can't thank you all enough remember all the links to connect with me are down in the description box as well as other links on how to support my channel such as my amazon wish list my bookshop and ways for you all to get free books as well thank you so much for watching and if you're in a mood to binge i'm also gonna leave a bunch of other of my videos so you can watch after but that's all from me and until next time bye y'all Thank you.